Hi guys, as you can see I'm coming to you from the garden today, I've got a shopping haul for you, just thought I would change the scenery, so welcome to my half completed garden, um, this is the side you never normally see in the ads with Ron Sue etc, um, but yeah, so I went shopping today, it's thought I would do a shopping haul, so I've got Primark, Poundland, oh yeah, so I've got Primark, Poundland and uh, Asda. So I've got my washing basket next to me because I don't want to put anything on the dirty surfaces. So I think I will start with Asda. So I got this for Ethan for September. It was six pounds, I think. It might have been in the sale, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, official Minecraft and it was made with the company Zap. So he's super happy about that. And I got him some little tubs to go when it's stopped touching the table um, to go with his lunchbox, and they were one pound something. It weren't very much. And then I got this really cute little tea light holder. It was two pounds, really heavy. Um, I can't wait to put a tea light in it and have it lit. I'm going to keep it inside. It's probably for outside, but I'm going to keep it inside. You can go there. I got this for my dad for Christmas. He doesn't watch my YouTube videos, so he won't know. Um, it was three seventy-five, I think, something like that. Um, I just thought it was cute. His favourite thing is the claw from Toy Story, so that made most sense. And then this is literally one of my favourite buys from Asda. I got a B notebook. It was two pounds. I think it was empty three. I think it was in the sale. Um, it's lined. But yeah, it's like canvassy. It's so cute. It's literally adorable. But yeah, so that's our stuff. Oh, and I got Ethan some trunks, which were six pounds for a five pack, and some school socks. Ten pairs of black rich, cotton rich ankle socks for three pounds. Best price found. Um, everywhere else was around a fiver. Okay, so that's our stuff. Um. I think I spent nearly 20 odd quid in there. I don't know how, um, but I managed it. So that's Asda done, as far as I'm aware. And then the next shop is Poundland. I got this really cute, you can't really see it because of the light. Well, because it's sunny, shouldn't complain. Um, cute little nightlight for Ethan from our Poundland. It was 50p where they had rainbows, unicorns, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, 50p, didn't know that till I got to the till. And I got some roses for <laughs> roses. Um that's what they're called, isn't it? Yeah, roses for my watering can. Um because for some reason my watering can didn't have them. And I did get like a little concrete guardian angel kind of thing to go in the garden, but mum forgot to give it to me. So that's somewhere. Um if I find it before I upload the video, I'll put a little picture here. It was a pound. Yeah. So that's pound land. So let's move some of this stuff out of the way because now we've got Primark. Right. So in Primark, along with all the other shops, we had to wear masks. Um, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too busy. They were very strictly like hand sanitizers, etc. As you walked in, um, it wasn't as easy or quick as the last time I went because obviously it was busy and more people are going out. But again, I didn't have a problem with it. So right, let's try and start with Ethan's clothes. Super Mario hat, five pounds. Pretty sure it's five pounds. I got him seven to ten. Um, he's happy with it. He loves it. Got him some little aviator sunglasses as well. Uh, medium to large. They were one pound fifty. Pretty sure they're inside somewhere. Probably lost, but they're inside. Right. So these are Ethan's clothes that I got. So obviously we all seem to have found on Instagram that Stacey Solomon released her new clothing line for kids. So obviously I was first there to that section. So I got this Living My Best Life. It is a 9 to 10 and it was £4.50. £4.50. It is so cute. The detailing on this is ridiculous. So it's got cute little sleeves and then on the inside it's like love, smile, happy. Oh, it's just so cute. The smaller kids range, I would say, is even more adorable. But obviously, I don't really have anyone to buy for for the sizing um, because my nephew Cody is not big enough yet, which as soon as he is, I'll be buying it all. 
and then I got these joggers they're really long um, 9 to 10 140 centimeters apparently they were a fiver um, they're just really comfy looking they're quite slimmed leg so I'm hoping they fit Ethan um, but for a fiver they just felt really good quality so he had this top on today in green so I bought it again in black I think this one is at my last haul video I've got it 9 to 10 and it is £2.30 perfect even if it only lasts him one summer it's perfect again another pair of joggers these are for school though so these are 9 to 10 again and the thing that most impressed me was the toggle works on them and these were £4 like what can go wrong on that why spend like 20 quid on the school ones when you can spend 4 quid and then I've got these adorable shorts they are going £9 no at uh, 9 to 10 £6 <laughs> but yeah they're just really cute they fit in with their whole like city grown up kind of theme that they had in there for the bigger kids alright so that's Ethan's section done um, just a quick little interlude any Harry Potter fans oh I'm doing it towards me I got a sample with this wallpaper from Wilco obviously it didn't cost me anything because it's a sample just thought it was cute um, so any Harry Potter fans let me try that again without rustling uh, any Harry Potter fans uh, is definitely worth it if you're doing a Harry Potter room um, I'll share it on my Instagram when I find the link as well so you can purchase it I don't know if it's an in-store or anything but I will check it out for you right so this is Primark but my haul so I literally went in there for nothing for me and I came out with these bits I found some extra bits and pieces from other stores so I'll share those in a minute So I really needed some new sandals but I didn't want to pay a lot because sunny days are rare and well I'm not going away this year, not well maybe in October but probably won't need them then. So I got another pair of these which I had last year, got them in a five and they were four pounds. Uh, these were really comfy last year, these, year, these years, this year's one seems a bit uh, tougher but if they just do me one summer they do me one summer. Before you come at me for fast fashion. I am usually really good but with shoes I just ruin them way too quickly and I got these because I fell for the colour but I know they're going to ruin my feet I uh, got them in a 5 to 6 uh, 5 to 6 and they were 90p again fast fashion they'll ruin my feet I will ruin them with the way I walk because I walk like a penguin um, but sorry I can't help it just shoes I just ruin so clothes I got myself a grey vest top because grey is my colour it's a 14 to 16 large £1.80 so that will do me a while I was gonna say again about fast fashion but actually these clothes will last me forever I've got such a big wardrobe of just random tops and t-shirts but I wear them all I've got this one, it's again a large which is 14 16 £2.50 just because I don't like them too fitted really cute, it's got little cactus and succulents and is it cactus or cacti? anyway, it's got them on it um, it was in their like, new t-shirts so I don't know if it's new for this season or if it's just left over and then I've got these shorts 14 again um, this time it's not a 14 to 16 it's just a 14 they were four pounds these are hopefully for my October holiday if we go fingers crossed yeah they're a nice kind of bluey colour well it's just blue I would say more teal haven't tried them on because you can't try on in there but I'm hoping they'll fit fine um, standard three pack of thongs they really had none has everyone gone in and bought thongs um, three pound 12 to 14 leopard print grey and pink nobody needs to see my dirty underwear or 
clean underwear should I say and then I picked this up for Maggie for Christmas so I'm not going to say the price or the size because that's not fair but it's really cute so that's why it needs to be featured she is vegan slash vegetarian um, depending um, on the situation obviously she's just had baby so I got her this it's got tofu and um, avocados etc on it just thought it was really cute birthdays in December so I thought it was perfect to put aside for her birthday so my shopping in Primark came to 47 pounds which I don't think is too bad um, it wasn't even really my shopping that was causing it to be expensive it's mostly Ethan's bits but he did need nearly all of that stuff especially the joggers and the shorts etc um, I don't think that's really a bad shop but yeah the extra little bits I found were this from Asda, a wooden dibbler. It's down to 37p. You put it into the ground depending on how far you want your bulbs. So that's new that's normally like daffodil bulbs and then obviously each one depending on how far down they need to go. I probably won't use it, I just thought it was cute for 37p. And I lie, mum didn't have my angel, it was just at the very bottom of the bag. I just thought it was really cute. It's going to sit in one of my little flower pots. It was a pound. They had a set of like three of them, um, all doing different things, but this was my favourite. But yeah, my favourite buys from today, I have to say, is my notebook, my tea light holder, and probably a couple of the items I got in Primark. Um, but really, it was a really nice day out. We wore masks in every shop we went into, including on the bus to and from there. We went into McDonald's as well, managed to order in there and eat in. That was really, really well done. Everything's done by the phone. It's contact free for drop offs to tables or so you can take away. All the staff are really knowledgeable and friendly and nearly, well, I would say 98% of the people we saw today were wearing masks when needed. There was the odd few, but there's always going to be. So I think this is the new normal for a while. So did a big shop now to save us going again in a couple of weeks we're going to limit obviously how many times we go out our next shopping trip will be a big one to cambridge to get the rest of the school uniforms school shoes coats etc so yeah i hope you enjoyed my little random shopping haul and i will see you again soon right bye